Hi ho folks. So today we are doing the spider web bun cover with spider dangle. Okay, so for this, it is two hoops. Okay, and you can do both of them in a four by four. You'll need to do your spider first and then your bun cover. Um, for materials, for materials, you will need four pieces of marine vinyl, approximately four and a half by five. You will need um, a piece of one eighth inch ribbon, approximately four or five inches long. And you'll need a hair stick for when everything's done so that you can attach this thing. So we need to do our spider on a string first. So go ahead and hoop up a piece of marine vinyl or um, medium weight sta uh, cutaway stabilizer, blurg. Sorry, and run color stop one to get your die line. And we'll be back with part one of this shenanigans in just a minute. And here we are. We got our die line laid down, except my knot did not hold. But okay, so we need to attach our little piece of ribbon before we go too much further. Now, this is going to take a T90 little piece of tape. How big? T90, okay? You just wanna barely hold this mushogana in place while everything stitches, and as it stitches, it will tack it down very much good. But, so, tiny little piece of tape there. Then we wanna make sure that it, and this is the top of the hoop, we want to make sure that it's coming right out of the spider's butt, nice and straight. And then we're going to tape it just a teeny tiny little piece of tape right there. Okay. Yeah, ba, ba, ba. There we go. All right. So there you go. If you are paranoid about things getting sucked in and sucked under while you're stitching the rest of this thing out, you can take a, uh, a pen or a piece of tape. I don't care. Um, and pin it down and out of the way, but you don't have to. Okay, and then we are going to just float. It all floats down here. Float a little piece of vinyl there, and we are going to run color stops. Uh, da -da, two, three, and four. We'll be back at five. Okay, guys, it doesn't look like we've done a lot, but really, we're almost done with the spider. The hardest part of spider from Mars is going to be the cutting. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so once we've gotten all the way through color stops, one, two, three, and four, it's time to attach our back. Lurk, just like that. And then we're gonna throw it back in the machine and run color stop four, truly and genuinely. It is that easy. Okay, folks, our spider is all done. First thing we're gonna do is while he's still in the hoop, um, we're going to, oh, look, no jumps, ha ha. We're gonna clean up his back a little bit because you know um, right there where the knot is, you always get a little bit of a hair. So trimming this buddy, um, and I can hear Heather uh, Grand Nicholson going, Psh, I ain't trimming all eight legs. Um, but for those of you who are like me and do like trimming, um, Let's talk about some tricks, tips, and ways to trim out your spider. So one of the things I highly suggest is putting your thumb in the ribbon right here at the top, or at, I guess that's his butt, right there at the butt, so that you don't accidentally trim <laughs> that ribbon off. Um, then I also highly recommend going ahead and doing a fussy cut just get rid of as much of this other blurg as you possibly can, okay? So that you're not trying to manipulate all of this while doing that. I'm also going to lift the top piece of vinyl. See, I'm still taped down there. And trim there. And then I'm going to untape and trim there. All right, now for the fun part. I always work counterclockwise because I'm a right-hander. I don't know if lefties go clockwise, 
But again, I'm gonna make sure that I keep my thumb right there where that ribbon is so I don't cut it. And we are going to carefully, turning your work, not your scissors, trim all eight legs. But guess what? We are not gonna watch me trim all eight legs. We'll watch me trim maybe two. And you're like, but that doesn't help me. Trimming two legs does not show me how you're going to get in there to the spider's butt and trim that off without snipping that ribbon because you know that's just begging to be cut off. In which case, you just did all of that work and now it's not gonna work for you. And you'll have to come up with another solution. Well, guess what? Because of the magic of television, har, 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 Abracadabra, Alakazim, Wah! there you go. I've already trimmed out, ooh, I've already trimmed out all his legs. Okay, so we're up here where the butt is. This is where you've gotta be careful. Pull the ribbon all the way to one side, okay? Okay, with the ribbon all the way to one side, stay as close to this leg as possible, okay? Now, once you get into his butt hump, you wanna stop right about there. Okay, so you're not gonna to get too close to that ribbon. And then we're gonna pull the ribbon over here to the other side. And we're gonna come trim this leg. And again, once we get to the butt hump, I know all these technical terms. I am sure there's somebody who's all about spiders and arachnologist, I guess. Is that what they're called? Who can tell me what the correct part? He's not, this is a black widow. It might be, I don't know what it is. Okay, so now we've come a little ways into the butt hump. See, now I'm gonna take the ribbon and the stabilizer and the back piece of vinyl and I am going to fold them down, all the way down, up to the stitch line. And I'm gonna take my scissors, all right. And I'm gonna stick it right in here between the two and carefully, carefully cut, like that. Now I'm gonna pull the ribbon forward. I'm gonna flip my spider over, okay? And now I'm going to go and do the stabilizer and the back vinyl, carefully, carefully, carefully. There we go. And then, voila, my spider is cut. All right, hopefully that wasn't too hard for you guys. Make it up as you go along. We finished our spider. It is now time to do the actual bun cover. And there are literally only three steps. So we are going to hoop some medium weight cutaway stabilizer. And we're gonna run color stop one, which is gonna give us a die line for the placement of the spider and our first piece of marine, marine vinyl. Back in a second. Okay, folks, here we are. We've got the die line for our bun cover. And we've also got a little placement stitch for our spider. And this is going to be where it's entirely up to you. Do you want your spider to hang low? Do you want your spider to hang high? Where do you want your spider? Um, most of you are going outside and far away from me. I am going to hang my spider, I guess, probably about... Uh, let's do about five inches down. And you're going, wow, that's a dangly spider. Um, and you are correct. That is a very dangly spider. We're gonna sh choke that up and go probably four inches, okay? Um, the reason I am uncertain how far to dangle um, my spider is this is for my gender bend uh, Beetlejuice costume. And my wig um, has not arrived. 
So I don't know how I haven't played with the wig yet. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to style it um, exactly. I do know it's going to be up rather than down. Um, so I'm gonna give my room self room to play. So we're gonna put a little piece of tape right there and we're gonna put a little piece of tape right here. Then we are going to tape our spider out of the way so he doesn't get sucked down into our workings because that would really ruin our day and ruin our spider. Okay, and now I'm gonna trim this and I am going to put a piece of vinyl so that it covers this bun cover as such, yes. And now I'm going to run Color Stop 3 in white to give me my spider web. Back in a bit. Okay, folks, so we have got our spider web all stitched down. So now we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna cover the back with a piece of marine vinyl. We're just gonna tape it lightly in place. We'll put it back in the machine and we will run Color Stop 3. That will give us our eyelets for the hair stick to pass through and it will give us our satin, I'm sorry, not satin, um, our stitch around the outline for cutting. And we will be back in just a second. Okie pokies, we are all done. Let's go ahead and grab the correct scissors, he, and trim our jumps. We, woo, da, da, let's flip it over. We're gonna trim our jumps back here as well. Okay, we're gonna take off our tape. <gasps> Naked hoop. Boom, boom, yeah, come here spider. Come here spider. Yeah. There we go. Look at all that tape. We're gonna lift this up and pull that little piece of tape off too. We're gonna put our spider here and unhoop. Woohoo! And now we are going to trim. And we need to, first of all, fussy cut so that we're not trying to trim with all of this stuff hanging all over the place because that would be just too fun. But when we get down here to the bottom where our spider's hanging off, we need to make sure that we do not cut our ribbon because that would stink a lot. So I'm gonna fussy cut like that. I'm gonna flip it over and lift only the stabilizer and the vinyl and fussy cut like that. Yeah, there we go. I am going to start here and go clockwise. I'm sorry, counterclockwise. And I am going to cut about 1 8th to 1 16th of an inch. Remember, turn your work, not your scissors. Slow, even cuts. Don't snip the tips because that'll make it all jaggy. Okay, now I'm getting back down here where my ribbon is. And I am going to stop right about there. And then I am going to take and cut the top away. I'm gonna cut, pull the spider out of the way, cut the bottom out of the way. I'm gonna take and fold the stabilizer in the back and the spider out of the way. And very carefully continue my cut. Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm gonna pull my spider all the way out of the way. And I'm going to trim just the back vinyl and the stabilizer. There we go. Managed to do that without chopping off my spider. Now I'm going to grab my hole punch, which I should have put over by the camera a while ago. Silly me. And I am going to make sure that the hole that I select for my hole punch is smaller than my eyelet. Yep, it sure is. And I'm gonna punch one hole. And I'm gonna punch two holes. There we go. And then I'm gonna take my stick and I am going to push my stick through. And 
There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Once I have some hair in there. Voila. Pretty cool, huh? Awesome Blossom. See you later.